Are you frustrated because your computer's running slow? I'm going to give you some tips on how to make your computer faster if it's running really slow. Hi, I'm Michael Cassio and I help people maintain their computer and repair their computer. And I get real frustrated when my computer's slow or my customer's computer's slow. So I'm going to help you here. Here we go. First thing I want you to do is go to Task Manager. Now, if you look on your Windows 10 computer and you look down on the bottom, that's your toolbar, and you're going to right-click an empty space on the toolbar, and you're going to go to Task Manager. You click on Task Manager, and then you're going to open it up, and that's going to be Task Manager. Okay, so I don't have anything running on my Task Manager, so that's okay. Now, if there was programs on there, I'd have to take it off. The second thing what you're going to do is clean the browser history. So I have Chrome, and hopefully you have Google Chrome. Double-click it, and then you're going to go up to the top right-hand corner, and there is three dots over there. If you can see, there's three dots on the right-hand corner, and you're going to put your mouse over those dots and you're going to click it and then you're going to go where it says history and then move your mouse to the left of history and click it. Then you're going to see all this stuff that's on your computer, all the history, everything that you search on the internet, it's going to be there. And the first thing you do is you go to where it says clean browsing data. You click clean browsing data, okay, and then you'll see this window, and then it says time range. You put all time in that drop down. Make sure it says all time, and then you click clear data, and that's going to clean all your, all your uh, history, all the junk that gets caught up in there and slows it down from searching the internet. Then you can close that out. Close this screen. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clean the cache, okay? And it's very simple, and you can follow along with me. In order to clean the cache, we're going to go down to the lower bottom to the Windows 10 icon, and you're going to right-click it, and then you're going to left-click Run, okay? And then in that Run box, you're going to type in Temp, T-E-M-P. Okay, after you do that, you're going to hit OK. Once you hit OK, you're going to see this screen here. And it's going to show you all your temp files that are on the screen. So what you do is you hold down the Control A key on your keyboard, and that will highlight everything. And then you hit the Delete key on your keyboard. And once you hit the Delete key, it's going to give you another screen that prompts you to get rid of everything. So I'm going to hit continue, and it's going to get rid of most of my temps. Okay, now there's still a few there, so I could do control A again and see if I can get uh, a few more taken off. Um, let's go back to delete on the keyboard. Click delete, and let's go to continue try again and that's okay if it doesn't get all of them don't worry about it if it gets most of them that's good so you close that out then you're going to go back to the run box the lower left right down here you're going to do that again you're going to right click the windows icon and click on run then you're going to type in first backspace stack get whatever to temp out of there then you're going to type in the Windows percentage sign. You're going to hold Shift and percentage. And then you're going to type in TEMP. Then you're going to push Shift. And then you're going to push percentage again. And then you got percentage, temp, percentage. Now you hit OK. And then you're going to go to another area similar to that with a bunch of folders. Those are your temporary Internet stuff. You, they're safe to remove. You hold down Shift. I mean, control A, and then you hit the delete key, and then you can close that out. If you have a few left, that's fine. 
So you go to the right hand corner and you, and you close that out. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go back to the bottom left to the Windows icon. And then you're going to right click it. You're going to run. And, this, and then you backspace out what's in there. Then you're going to type in prefetch. P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H. Okay. Then you hit OK. If you get a continue, um, you just hit continue. Sometimes the folder has a continue on it. Okay, and then this folder has a lot of things. If you see, we can just scroll down and you can see how many things are on there. And that's one reason your computer gets slow is you have a lot of these temporary prefetch files. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold Control A. That's going to highlight everything. Then you're going to go back to the delete. And you're going to hit the delete key. And you can see just about all of them are gone. Then you can close that out. And then you can close this window out. And once you close that window out, then you deleted all your uh, cache files, your temporary cache files. Now we're going to run a program called Malwarebytes. It's right here. It's a free program you can download from the inter internet. Just type in Google Malwarebytes, free version. It's spelled M-A-L-W-A-R-E-B-Y-T-E-S. Okay, so you download and install it. It's totally free. Then you double click on it. And then you'll see it come up. And then you hit yes. Or okay. And then once that comes on, give it a second for it to start up. We're going to run the malware bytes. Okay. So, here it is. Malware bytes. Um, now you're going to go to the bottom where it says... Right here, you're going to go to where it says uh, scan now. You're going to hit scan now and just let it scan. It's going to take a while. It's going to search your whole computer. It's going to scan. First, it's going to update. It says check for updates. <coughs> Excuse me. Then it's going to scan your computer. It's going to take a while. If you never used it before, it's going to take a while. It has to update. So it's going to go through the whole process of looking for um, infections and a lot of bad stuff that gets on your computer from going on the internet. A lot of temporary stuff. And it's going to search for anything that's harmful to your computer. And it's going to prompt us to remove it. And there's also a thing that says detection objects, detected objects. And that it's going to tell us how many things it found during the scan and at the end it'll calculate how many things it found. So it's going to scan your whole hard drive, so it does take time. And the more you use it, the faster it goes. So give it time, run the program, it's already scanning the startup files now. It already scanned the memory and it updated. So just give it some time. And it's going to scan the whole hard drive to look for problems. So once this is done, I'll show you what to do. It's very simple. If it finds anything, we can remove it. If it didn't find anything, you just close it out. So it's got to search everything. Right now it's scanning the startup files. Those are the files that when you turn your computer on, those are the files that come on the computer. And it scans the registry, it's scanning the file system. You can see it's going pretty fast. You could do this at night or you could do this anytime that you want. If you think you have a problem on your computer, you can double click this program anytime and run it. It only takes a little bit of time. And if there's anything on the computer that's harmful, it's going to find it and it's going to uh, remove it. So it's a really good program. So this is what you have to do. So give it another second now. It's almost there. I can see it's scanning the system files now. That's the last thing it's going to do. Once that's done, it's going to go to the final analyst. And then it's going to tell us if we have any infections or any problems. Or if we don't have any problems. So that's a real good thing. And this is also use with your antivirus, not 
not in place of your antivirus. So you should have an antivirus also, but this is a very good program to have with your antivirus. But if you just have this, it's better than no antivirus. But I recommend having an antivirus and having this program too. You can run both of them. It's almost done. It's got a little bit more scanning the system files. It just doesn't take too long either. This is like 10-15 minutes out of your day or in the evening you can do it. When you're not using your computer you can run these, this test here and uh, it will check for any kind of infections or any problems with your files. And it checks your whole computer, everything that's on your hard drive, your programs, checks all your files, it checks the Windows operating system, so it thoroughly checks everything that's on your computer. As you can see, it's going through the scanning process. It's going through every file. Well, so far, it's over 30,000 files that it checked. And it hasn't found anything so far, and that's a good thing. Now, if yours finds things, that's okay. Once it gives you, at the end, it's going to remove everything that it finds. So that's it's going to really be helpful. But so far, my number is zero. It hasn't found anything. Your numbers could be different. Yours might say anywhere between zero and like, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred. I've seen that. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe and share this video with your friends and your family and people on your list and on social media. Also, like the video and watch my playlist videos. We have a few more seconds left. It's going to be a few, uh, another minute or two and it should be done. So, um, over 32,000 files it scans. So it scans really good and it really covers everything thoroughly. And as I said, this may take 10, 15 minutes or it could take a little bit longer, but the most I've ever seen it take was about 25 minutes. And that was really the longest I've ever seen. It depends on how many files you have on your computer. If you have a lot of files, it may take a little bit longer. So uh, we're coming down to the last final stage. It's got 33,000 files to checked out already. And as I said before, this is a totally free program. You can go on the internet and just type in Malwarebytes free version in a Google search and you download it and install it and you'll see the um, blue M on your desktop and that's where you double click on to start it. Now we're up to almost 35,000, so it's coming towards the end. It's very frustrating when your computer runs slow. This is the slow computer fix for Windows 10. If you have a Windows 10 computer, this is what you want to do. This will fix your Windows 10. So, so far it's scanned 7 minutes and 17 seconds. And it hasn't found anything yet. But like I said, your results may vary. Now we're getting to 36,000. Thirty-six two hundred. 
There's a lot of system files on your computer. That's why this last area takes a little bit longer. Because Windows has a lot of system files that it has to go through and it has to check through everything, make sure the files are clean of infections or any problems. And this is the last part of the scan. It's scanning the C Windows system files. This video can be very helpful to everybody that's on your uh, subscriber list, your family and friends, anybody that has a slow Windows 10 computer. This video is very helpful for them. Or if you have a slow Windows 10 computer, or if you want to keep your computer running good and running smooth, this is a great video for that. And we're at the very end now. It's going to be a little bit more, but it's almost finished. As you can see, it's at the end. So make sure you share this video with everybody you know. So it helps them out. And it's available for free online. Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. Make sure you type in Malware Bytes for Windows 10. Free version. You don't want the trial version, you want the free version. And it's completely free. And then when you turn, double click it, you hit, hit OK, and it will start scanning the whole computer, looking for problems. And then after it gets to the end, we're at this part right now, and I see it hasn't found anything. So that's a good thing. But as I said, your results may be different. But I want to show you how to run this. That way when you download it and install it, you can run this yourself. One hundred forty thousand files, five hundred it scanned already. If your kids have a computer, laptop or a desktop, make sure you put this on there. If your friends have a computer, all the people that you talk to on YouTube, Facebook, all the different uh, social medias, this program will help them immensely. So make sure you give them this video and they can see everything and they're going to be really glad that you gave it to them. So here we come to the very end of the malware bytes anti malware scan and it's just finishing up. And as you can see, it hasn't found anything. But if it found something, it would uh, detect it, and uh, down here it would say the number, what it found. So since it hasn't found anything, we're going to shut it off. We're going to completely shut it off, and it hasn't found anything. And that's how you run the scan. When you run that, you just give it a little time to run and it's a great program this whole video I uh, hope it's helpful to you if you got value from it please share it with everybody that you know and uh, it will uh, be very helpful and I want to thank you for watching this video uh, my name is Mike Lucasio and I want to thank all my subscribers and all the people that follow me regularly and you have a great day. This is the end of the video. Slow computer fix for Windows 10. Thank you for watching.